Hey guys, it's Bill Vinci from the Empire Plate Show. Today we're in Port Byron for the first time filming. We're at a place called Potter's Farm to Fork. Now, there's a great story behind this place. I can't wait to go in and check it out. I hear a lot of great things about the food, the atmosphere, plus the story. So why don't we go inside, check it out. Come on, follow me in. Okay, I'm with Brian Potter. Brian, how you doing today, buddy? Good, Bill. How are you? I'm doing great, man. It's good to be here. Thanks. For, it was nice to have you. Absolutely. Now, I got to tell you, first thing when we came in, I, from the outside, I go, man, this is a nice little place here. Little nothing. This place is huge. When we walked in, you had the front part, but then you got this nice back room, but you got a room in the back, too, which is huge. So is that like a banquet hall or party room? Or? Yeah, we can seat 70 comfortably in the banquet room. Just in 80 in this main dining room. Wow. So well, first you got almost two, almost two hundred people in this place. Yeah, That's and amazing. you'll see it on a Friday or Saturday night. We're packed. Right. Okay. And I gotta say, this mural in the back is absolutely gorgeous. This is the family farm. It is. It's been around since 1954. Yep. Long time. My parents uh, moved up from Cincinnati, okay. New York, uh, and bought the farm. And uh, my dad worked the farm up until about three years ago, okay. but still has the farm. Okay. So very cool. Well, tell me a little bit about this place and a little of the history behind it. Sure. So I purchased uh, the restaurant a year ago. Okay. Uh, from Brenda, uh, and she had it for about 20 years before that. Uh, and really, what drew me to the place was the size of it, just having the sure. space available. Yeah, and we put a, about three months worth of renovations into it and opened last October. And wow. It's been something. So this is just about a year for you then. Yeah, we that just year celebrated anniversary. our year-long anniversary. Okay. And, yeah. So tell me a little bit about this place. Now, you guys, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, are you all three? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, banquets, seven days a week. Holy cow. Uh, and we just got our beer and wine license, yes, so that takes yeah. it to another level. Okay. We're really focused on... Um, Celebrating the New York craft beer scene, mm -hmm. New York wines, uh, and just building out lists that kind of match the food pairings. And yeah, it's that's exciting. Pretty, that's pretty cool. Now, let's talk a little bit of some of the food here, some of the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What are some of the more popular things that you guys specialize in? Well, definitely on the breakfast side, uh, the Firehouse Freddas are pretty popular. Okay. Uh, we have probably eight different Freddas that we donate a dollar to the different fire departments uh, in the okay. area. For each Freda served. So uh, a customer can order a Freda and choose which fire department they want to support. We send out a check quarterly. Uh, on the lunch and dinner side, uh, macaroni and cheese is one of our top sellers. Okay. And we have uh, the Warrior and Panther potatoes. Uh, I'm a Weed Sport graduate, which is just up the road mm -hmm. a few miles. And uh, when we were, you know, it was a big deal to have the Weed Sport Port Byron rivalry. Yep. So we, uh, played that up with our potatoes and we do a one pound potato loaded with beef brisket, pulled pork or chicken. Uh, and uh, guests can choose if they want Warriors or the Panthers. Oh, and we do cool. uh, quarterly donations to the schools uh, for, for each quarter. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That is really cool. Well, it sounds like a great place. I I'm excited. I can't wait to get this started. I know you got some items that you want to showcase today on the show. So next we're going to hit the kitchen and we're going to see how the stuff's prepared. You got anything else you want to no, talk about? No, I think we're good. He's ready to go. I can't wait. It's going to be a fun day. Thanks, man. Thank you so much, man. When we started coming here, I guess about the day they opened, food is really good, service, just, just everything. And Brian, he's just an incredible cook. For us, we like this because it's part of our community, um, and Brian is really into the community. Uh, so we just like coming here to support him, to support everything that's going on here. And the food is delicious. Gloria, how are you guys doing today? Very good. Oh, good stuff. Yep. She, she, Gloria said that. She, I asked her, how come you can't finish that? She said, can't finish it. Too big a portion, right? Yes. You tried. You tried. You gave it a good run, and you got it. What another couple bites, yeah. and you're, you're yeah. gonna polish that off. He'll try to finish. He'll finish that. He'll finish that. Two bites. He's got that. Yeah. So why? Do you um, it's a very good family-oriented atmosphere. Um, it, it's good food, great service. Everyone's very friendly. Would you like to order off the menu? What's your favorite thing so far? 
Uh, last time I had a cheeseburger and fries. That was really good. Uh, uh -huh. This time I'm going to try the chicken tenders and see. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys for coming down. Thank you for advertising on the show today. Yeah, no All right, guys. So we just got our meal brought out. We got a little bit of breakfast. We got a little bit of lunch and we got a little bit of dinner. So I'm going to sample a couple things here. We got the tanner plate. Now this is, looks like two cheeseburgers with some chili. Uh, the mac and cheese and some fries on it. I'm gonna sample that. Then we got this uh, uh, shrimp. It's like a hot, spicy shrimp over the mac and cheese. And then we got the rodeo burger over here with the onion strings on the cheeseburger. It's got a little barbecue sauce on it. So uh, let's go right into this plate right here. So it's obviously a little different than the garbage plates of uh, Rochester, but it's their own twist on it. So I gotta make sure I get a little bit of everything. So I got some chili, got a piece of the burger, and let's grab a fry over here. Well, wow, first thing you taste is that chili, which is out of this world. It's got great, great flavor to it. That mac and cheese is really creamy. Burger cooked good underneath, and then you get the french fry, which are crispy, tastes good. It's actually really, really good. Now I did sample this before we went on camera. Shrimp got a nice little kick to it. So a little, a little hot, but I like it. Let's try this out here with the mac and cheese. I gotta tell you what, the mac and cheese is out of this world. It's extremely cheesy, creamy, but this shrimp's got a little smokiness to it, and it's got a little bite to it, which makes this, this is a kind of dish I, I could kind of eat all the time. I absolutely love shrimp. Anything spicy, that's really good. All right, one more thing I'm gonna try is this rodeo burger. This this could be a little messy, so I'm gonna try to try to keep it on the table. I mean, I gotta tell you what, the burger's actually hanging out of the bun. It's so big. I mean, look at that. I got fries stuck to it. I'm making a mess over here. It looks incredible. All right, let's try this thing. My burgers cook fantastic. It's medium just the way I like it. That cheese on it's nice. Is there two burgers on here? There is two burgers on here. I didn't know that. Crispy bacon. You got the lettuce and tomato on it. I love the onion strings. A little kick of the barbecue sauce. Burger's fantastic. Absolutely amazing. I'm not going to sample everything on camera right now because there's so much food on this table. It's unbelievable. But we're going to try a little bit of everything. So, we'll see you guys when we're, uh, when we're done. All right, guys, we just finished up our breakfast slash lunch dinner here at Potter's, and I gotta tell you what, not only was the food fantastic, everything made in-house and fresh and huge plates of food. Um, we got out about 10 plates of different food and you know, we couldn't even put a dent in it. So I can imagine just having one of those dishes and there's always leftover. Um, so definitely when you come to this place, it, you make sure you're hungry, you're gonna take some leftover home. Food is fantastic. Um, people here are great. We had a super, super time so far tonight. Food fantastic here, great people, really cool place. another incredible show of the Empire Plate here in Port Byron and Brian I want to thank you again for an amazing day man. Thanks Del. You know, Appreciate it. We didn't get to see Brian a lot today after we did the interview because he's been so busy he's been running around doing all this stuff so he didn't even get a chance to come over and see us but I, I gotta tell you the food is fantastic here and it's not small portions these are monster plates and if you see when you see the video there's about 10 different dishes of food here between breakfast lunch dinner you actually want to give us dessert but I'm like to another thing we had a great time um thank you again for the hospitality it's been thank amazing. you so much so guys if you haven't been here yet make sure you like their facebook page um and and come down check out all the specials they kind of switch the menu up as the season goes they got a lot of cool things here i know i'm going to say this that i say it a lot of places make sure you save room for dessert 
you're gonna have to take home a couple boxes of food because you're not finishing these meals there. But everything's fantastic. So, unfortunately, I have to leave for the day, but I'll definitely be back to visit these guys. Come check them out. I'm your host, Bill Vinci of the Empire Plate Show. You guys have a great day.